Hello, and welcome to the Zelda Family Fun Time Hour with uh, me and Dish. Today we're going to continue on with our randomizer LP. This time we have a new special guest, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hello everybody, it's Simon. And, um, yeah, so we're going to start off differently today. I've already played a bit of the game, I should have sped through it. Although here all I did was get a bunch of rupees, buy bugs, fill up on bombs, so we should be good, and we're just going to get right into it. Also use the game shark you've been wanting to use for a little while. Uh, yeah. I put in a bunch of cheat codes, so now mm -hmm. I have... Uh, moon jump, I, can, I, I can walk through walls. Mm -hmm. I can do all kinds of cool shit now. So we'll be able to see all that cool stuff. You need stuff. a game shark for this? <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, the regular codes don't work for the randomizer, I think. That's a shame. It's like they, they fixed it. <laughs> no cheating with this. Dude, press L to levitate was the shit when I was a kid. That's like, I, 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 I had more fun playing around with press L to levitate in games than I did actually playing them. <laughs> well, yeah, because... I mean, you weren't supposed to ever do that, so it just screwed up everything. Mm -hmm. I actually don't know anybody who owns a Game Shark, but I, I don't think it's that prevalent in Germany. I don't know. The Game Shark? This is the, the Game and Shocking? Was that what it was? I knew one guy who had something for his Game Boy, mm -hmm. but I don't know what it was called. And the Game Genie, ya? Yeah? <laughs> Maybe? Okay, this, you're being real offensive right now, you gotta stop that shit. <laughs> Okay, I will stop. Stop being racist. Uh, it's it's okay. You can't be racist against white people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I um did Song of Double Time Story just to make it a first day again. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just because I want to keep it in first day for uh, as long as I can for right now. Um, the, the main goal of what I want to do right now with this session, I guess, or continuing on, is I need to find the fucking Kathy mask. In order to actually do any of the couples mask, I need to get that mask. Yeah. And that 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 locks like, uh, I don't know, five different items. Maybe not that many, but there's a bunch of different items behind the ca the couples mask quest, and I want those things. Are they so randomized? Or are they, did he basically? I guess some yep. of them are randomized. Did he like lock some of them in place? I well, guess no, not. they're all randomized because we mm -hmm. found like each individual. Do um, we find all of them? Hmm, maybe. Oh, except for the Kathy mask. Except that's for the, the one okay. thing. Yeah, that's the big bottleneck, right? Because we have the pendant, we have the letter, Oops. and I'm trying to remember what else. Is it bad that you missed one? Uh, yeah, we found the pendant, we found... The letter. Found the letter, because that's what screwed up a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, st I haven't found the letter to, to Mama. Right. But we don't need that to actually do the couple's mask quest. But that's like a separate part of it. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Yeah, with the letter you get the postman's hat though, right? So, there is one more item drop. Yeah. But can you do that regardless if you finish the quest? Probably, right? The postman yeah, yeah, just it's, pointer? It's, it's like right, three right, separate. 360 this last one. 360 it. Come on. Three. That's fine. Don't. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Look, that's a good Dude. prize. Oh. Well, that's <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> the one that was stolen from you. What? Was the text just screwed up? But you got back the great fairy's mask uh, sword that was stolen oh, from did, you. Did it say that? I didn't even notice. It did say that. Yeah, it said like it, wo it was bought back from the cur curiosity shop. That's probably how he had to do it because... Um, I guess of the way it gives it to you. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I didn't even notice. Maybe it's for normal swords and he extended it to that. It's a shame we already have the razor sword. No, not razor sword. The one uh, We have that. the gilded sword, but again, I, 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 we're sword. in a weird uh, quantum state where it's the Kokiri sword on my B button. So I, I don't know right. quite how it's supposed to act right now. You don't know what the damage counts yeah. are. But having the great sword so, sword is pretty I mean, good. That's helpful. Yep. Do we have any other mini games to do? I think that we can do before we start doing dungeon stuff. Because I think our, our next major stuff is just all the dungeon um, items. That's but I just noticed that on Garo Goron, so we could get one more item from him. From whom? Oh, we also got the. We also, I think, did the. Got the um, circus leader or whatever it is mask that lets us do the quest in the ranch. Not circus leader. The one that lets us march around all the chickens. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll probably go to the ranch later. Bremen. The Bremen mask. Right? Yeah. Right um, the, uh, one actual other minigame we have to do is the other archery game. Yep. Yes. Does the... Uh, right, let's, no, I don't need this. Breakage. I don't need this, bro. Well, we're finished with the Cutlass Mask side quest. Then. <laughs> <laughs> that was That's easy. That's what we wanted. <laughs> well, we completed the Cutlass Mask yeah. quest. <laughs> Not quite what I wanted, but okay. Uh, uh, the beaver gives you a heart piece. I think it's just the pots breaking minigame gives you money and a heart piece. So I don't think those are necessary at all. No, yeah, no. Again, the only the, specific... We, we don't need yeah. to do any of that. 
honey and darlings or anything yeah. like that. That's all heart pieces. Um, there's yes. uh, some kind of minor tricks you can do for that stuff, but um, probably not going to show all that stuff off. You did all the skull tool houses, I believe, yeah. both of them. Yeah, that was a huge source of frustration yeah. for me. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a very funny viewing experience. It was. It was a. It was a good video. I'm, I'm happy with what you did with it. And you got some pizza caps in celebration, yeah. so it wasn't all that bad. Yeah, I guess we can count that as a win. Alright, uh, and uh, yeah, there's like the the island hopping game, which I think is also yeah, just heart piece. pieces. There's a funny trick you can do that one too. Um, uh, if you want to try it out, the the island hopping mini game is only available after you beat uh, Great Bay Temple. And if mm -hmm. you... Uh, like the way the islands work, they're not like... I don't know, the way it registers you being on the island is sort of iffy. So if you actually go right to the edge of an island and keep slashing, if like to one of the where one of the torches are. Oh, if you keep I slashing, see, so you slash over if you keep slashing, you'll, yeah. you'll 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 register it like thirty times in a row. Oh, well, that's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> nice. Is that something you can actually use? Because I watched that five and a half hour, uh, very entertaining 100% speedrun, and uh, they were like deathly afraid of falling into the water. Uh, I don't think they do it in the They don't do it in the 100% run because it doesn't save any time. It's just funny to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, they just have to let the time run out anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So I just skipped the cutscene. Because they were so afraid, I thought that maybe they were playing it up for the audience because. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They probably should did a little bit. be hard. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Then there's also the band leader quest, which I think is also a heart piece. There's so yeah. many mini games that are just heart that's pieces. That's why I, that's why I decided not to get like almost any of the heart pieces. They're really long. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, but I, I did just do the cutscene. You have to have skip. a lot of heart pieces because you have less yeah. templates than OOT. Yeah, I know. It's just they have so many. You have a whole other set of items in this game too. And I'm, but I'm still surprised at I guess how much they packed into heart pieces. Yeah. Because there's some that I swear that would just be random masks or items or other things, but are just heart pieces, I guess. Yeah. That guy sells green potions to Soros, right? Oh. Can you actually, if you wanted to hover up there, would you, would you actually just collect the heart piece? Yeah, that's the easy way, but there's, there's a, a different way, which I just did right now. Mm -hmm. If you do that Zora glitch, um, yeah. right now I'm actually standing on top of this um, musical thing. Record player, yeah. And now I could just uh, walk over here and climb up. Well, Kids these easy. days don't even know what an LP player hey, I can, is. I can't grab it. Okay, there goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's fake. Uh, but yeah. Just stop time stop or something? Or was it just a little glitch? I don't know. It was probably just the hitbox of the, the harpies. Uh, okay. So it's not because of something you did. Yeah, no, that wasn't... Uh, that Yeah, that was just a weird quirk that doesn't normally happen. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of extra stuff we can do uh, right but now. can you use that weird quirk in speedruns? <laughs> Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just go to Great Bay because why not? Um, yeah, it seems like it's the next major thing we're to right do because we did, yeah, we did all the other stuff. Um, a big one is gonna be Stone Tower because um, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to skip this. I'll probably fail, but um, you can skip the cutscene going there. Anyways, um, yeah, Stone Tower is a really good place to go. There's three items total you get from there. Uh, there's the Great Fairy Sword. We already have that, but to actually get the trigger, mm -hmm. yeah, to doing that. Oops. The giant's mask and the light arrows, right? Yeah, so it's like a it's, there's a pretty good pile of items to get, but yeah. I, I kind of want to save that for later because there's a whole all, a lot of other stuff in Akana, Akana Canyon too. Yeah, and you also have to get the captain's hat mask normally. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, um, oh, look good. Yeah, for a while. <laughs> that, sequ that sequence of events, if I had done it properly, would have skipped the cutscene. So, um, everyone can sort of reflect on that. Mm -hmm. uh, this one right here. Just imagine just think, the cutscene just, skip in your head. Just think about it. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> just think about it. But uh, the problem is you have to get right right up close to the loading zone to the mm -hmm. Zora Cape, and then you have to cancel out of time stop. So, and, and then like run, and then in, run in the same in. frame. So I want to get as yeah. close to the loading zone as possible before I cancel time stop, so I don't have to pause buffer yeah. so long into it. But getting mm -hmm. that is pretty tight. So yeah. Is there any visual cue for it whatsoever, or is it just? Uh, I mean, maybe I don't really know one because I don't do that trick a whole mm -hmm. lot. Uh, the problem okay. is there is like a setup for it, but it doesn't do it with the way I did it. It um. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just about to ask if you can like roll and then uh, make a half step to the left. That's or something that's like sort of that. what you have to do. Like that's what I tried to do. That's why I bonked against the wall. Uh -huh. uh, that's the actual setup. If you bonk against the wall and then uh, that should give you like enough distance to roll twice towards it. But my right. angle was a little bit crooked, so I was um. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I rolled. And this game, like, this game doesn't have as many setups because the movement's just different. Yeah, it's, it's different. I, I talked about it, but yeah, in in Ocarina of Time, backflips and side hops are always the same distance. But in this one, I can do a really short backflip, or I can do a really long backflip, and even side hops, I can shorten them. I kind of like the mechanical movement of Ocarina of Time better, just because it makes, I, I don't know, I feel like it's, even if it's less natural, you get a sort of mastery over it that you can really appreciate. Kind of like Mega Man, right? I suppose hmm. so. I mean, ultimately, everything's just more, like, codified. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you have, like, yeah. more you have like more tricks in your bag to right. set things up. But sort of but yeah. like how Mega Man has weird acceleration, that it sort of, it feels awkward to play, but you can definitely get a sense of mastery of it, which feels really good. Mega Man Compared has weird acceleration? I was felt it was really binary, like you uh, always jump the same way and you don't have any momentum, and I liked it like that. Right. That, Maybe that's exactly underwater. what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, I feel like, I feel like it, it's, it's a curve that you have to get used to, but it's more satisfying to master the, the curve than to have more natural Mario-like acceleration, I feel. Oh, for sure, yes. Uh, I, I played a lot of Mega Man, and uh, it, it's hard <laughs> to go back to Mario at some times. <laughs> Oh man, you try going from, like, I, I mean, I, I can only play these games with glitches now, right? But you try going from the Zelda games to Mario games, and it's, oh, it's I hate it. I hate playing Mario 64. Really? I hate it so much. Like, I'm, I'm I, the opposite. I go to Zelda games, and, like, I can't, I can't, well, I guess I'm the same way, but I prefer Mario now, oh. just because I spend more time with it. Like, I mean, I'm not saying it's, like, like bad or anything. It's no, it's just, like, no. oh, I'm so used to the way this, this movement works in this game, mm -hmm. that when I try to do it, oh, it just feels so gross. I don't know, I can't do it. I, maybe it's just me, I'm bad at it, but... To be fair, it is really interesting how, in a year and with the same team, they were able to come up with such different movement on the same engine yeah. in some way. But I mean, but both between Mario and Zelda, and also between the two Zeldas. I think it's... Yeah. They definitely had a lot more ideas and were able to execute them, or I think it's a little bit more standard these days, what 3D, what 3D movement in games looks like. Well, it's because it's kind of been refined over the years, so it's... Yeah. Yeah, and in this case, I sometimes think, yeah, Majora's Mask could have the complaint leveled at it, but it's just basically like a remix or a ROM hack almost of Ocarina of Time, but it's really not. Even though it uses a lot of the same assets, it's such a completely different game. Yeah. A lot of differences are pretty minor, though. Or, like, well, I don't... Um, mecha well, mechanically, I mean, the, minor, the differences are minor. But it's enough so that, like, I, I noticed it, but, like, I think most people wouldn't. Or they just don't care. I yeah, but I mean, the masks alone, uh, the transformation masks, they change the gameplay fundamentally. Yeah, well, I, mean, they, I thought I thought they were the weakest part. Like, I didn't think the transformation masks It's, it's masks all about the masks. That's like the main goal. Well, yeah. I know that's... Well, the main goal is to stop a guy from eating the moon or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's about right. Yeah. You, you nailed it in one. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> And it's getting harder and harder for him because as the moon comes closer, it becomes bigger, so it's harder to eat. Yeah, and you just get hungrier and hungrier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Until you just have to reset time back to before all of that. It's kind of a sad game. Yeah, it really like is. Like Groundhog Day with Bill Murray, that was a sad movie, I tell you. I cried at the end. I've actually never seen Groundhog Day. What? No. Come on. Really? It's what? pretty good. It's pretty it's... good. It's, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. I've seen it dude, a lot. It's dude, dude. on German After TV a lot, too. After this is over, you're going to launch up Netflix and we're going to watch some freaking Groundhog Day, I tell you, man. This is, we're going to have a movie night. So, um, I got off one hit, but okay. I didn't show this off in the other... In the... Shit. Damn it. God, these sprites look so ugly. I'm sorry. I have to, I have to say it. It's... <laughs> uh, it's like Link to the Past type bubble as fuck. Yeah. Anyways, well, I, of course it's a, a homage to one of the bosses. <laughs> of course it is. This looks so, oh, the frame rate can't even keep yeah. up either. Alright, so I mentioned it, but I actually used the bomb to hit him the first time. If you time it so that the bomb explodes when his eyes open, you can just throw it at him, like, around all the bubbles and stuff, and sort of blast through all the bubbles to damage him. Uh, but luckily, since we have the Great Fairy Sword, I can also just use that and it's faster. The plumbing in this place really needs some work. There's a drain on the ground, and it's not actually doing anything. The water's still piling up. Yeah. There's sort of a problem with the plumbing in this place. It... Well, Did you have the photo box before? No, that's what we just got. No, that's that's what uh. we just got. Which is, can we do anything with that? Uh, we can get the seahorse. 
That's true. Is there anything else you can do nope. with that? Heart pieces. Uh, I could. S um. All right. So let me ask this. Wait. Did we talk? Did I talk about this? The um, the photograph. Uh, mini game, the heart piece, where you show a photo to that guy and he gives you a heart piece. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you said there what was else? some weird way of doing it. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna do this. Though. It's not a weird way, but it, um, like uh, Simon, do you remember that quest? Uh, you either show him a photo of Tingle or of the Sorak, uh, the, the, not the Deco King, right? Yeah, I just like from my experience, like people don't know about one of those one of those things. Like either they either they understand you give the the Tingle or you give the DQ King, but like a lot of times I see people only know about one and not the other one. I didn't know about Tingle. I yeah, I only knew about Tingle. Uh, I I had a guide and it only mentioned uh, the the Deco King one. Uh, like that was the only one. I knew at some point that uh, he was Tingle's father, but I didn't know that you could also show Tingle for a heart piece. Yeah, see, I only knew about the Tingle one. I didn't know how to do it like the other way until like I started learning glitches and stuff. Does, does he does he do give you if you do both, or is it only the one that you can do it either I, way? It's just whatever you get shown first, I guess. Okay, it's, it's probably a trigger a dialogue both times and get like fifty rupees maybe. Maybe. But yeah, because the, the actual contest, winning the contest, yeah, that's just the DQ King. But showing him Tingle, he's just like, oh, this is my son. He sucks so bad. <laughs> but you don't, you don't actually win the contest or anything. He just talks about like how embarrassed he is about his son. Oh, <laughs> well, you don't have any arrows. <laughs> well. Where are we going? We don't need arrows. Yeah. Uh, this could go yeah. pretty badly though, because I'm kind of low on health. But yeah, this fucking uh... dialogue. I don't know, I think you're good. Obliterate him. Oops. No! You're good. No, I'm not. It's gonna eat you. It's gonna eat you. Because it's a fucking asshole okay. fish. You're okay, don't That's worry. You didn't bad. even lose any health on I, that. I, I hit him wow. twice. You can hit him three times to trigger the next sequence, but. Yeah. Uh, I kind of screwed it up. I, it, um. There's some slightly different mechanics in Japanese and English that make this a little different. Oh, really? Yeah, everyone, like, I don't say everyone, because most people probably even play Japanese. But yeah, the Japanese is, like, slightly different um, swim mechanics, and it sort of frustrates, like, every single speedrunner everywhere. Oh, it's not the boss mechanics, it's, yeah, it's the it's swimming, swimming mechanics. It's the swimming ones. Like, this, yeah. the swimming is slightly different, and the way the electricity is a little bit different. Right, right, right. No, I thought you, I thought you meant the boss sequence change. No, no, no. This uh, is swimming, okay. but, like, I was just playing Japanese earlier, so it was, like, throws me off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it, just saying uh, for all of the shit the 3D remake bosses get because they take more time now, I really, really like that they made this into a not shit boss. <laughs> they, they, yeah. I think it's probably the one they changed the most. Cause there's, yeah. there's like a this whole was, sequence I mean, that didn't exist before right now. It's... Exactly. Mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's so good because I hate this boss so much. <laughs> yeah. Good job, was, man. Good it job. was not, I mean... I didn't. I didn't care for all of the bosses in this game. I felt they were most of the bosses were pretty weak. The dungeons were really strong, but the bosses, yeah, with awesome. the exception of the mini boss in Stone Tower Temple, I think is the one of the one, only ones I really enjoyed. The the Gara Master, you mean? Yeah. All right. Well, the swordsman. We're gonna yeah. step into this cutscene. I'm probably gonna skip it. So anything you say, I'm cutting right out. Oh my god, Dish! How could you fucking say that? Oh my god! What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, Jesus Christ! Look, dude, sometimes I, you know, I think of something and I put it into Google, and when it when it comes out on Google Images like that, I just want to share it with you. Okay? You need to stop that shit, like right now, dude, or, or this LP is over. Well, I'll, I'll I'll take you up on that ultimatum. I'm I won't change who I am to fit your preconceived notions of an LP partner. And I'm German, and your porn tastes disgust even me. <laughs> ah, well, you know, let's just. Let's just move on. Alright, we finished Great Bay. Are we, yeah, we finished Great Bay. Got the pictograph. Beat the boss really quick. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about maybe trying to skip that cutscene like I showed off in the LP. You can do song time storage, but I decided, who cares? Not worth it. Yeah. But a very quick dungeon. It's like five... Yeah, like the thing is that a lot of the cutscenes in this game are like they're shorter than the ones of Ocarina of Time, which is absolutely Except great. for the two that are like way longer. Yes, <laughs> except for the the two that are way longer, like the open the whole opening part of the game, and then the one on first night. I think of the two major ones. You mean the cutscene called the first psyche? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> it it basically is a giant cutscene. Come on. 
Well, no, I, I was, was like, stupid I was like to finish it as a kid, <laughs> and I had to get a guide because I didn't get it. No, I was talking about like the opening tunnels. You remember, like in that the whole thing. Yeah, but those are also remember. atmospherically at the very least. Oh, I I don't know. I never cared for them that much. Maybe I'm the weird one. Then I, I I like that it looks so mundane. Like this is just the forest, but something is off, and mm -hmm. uh, then it just really goes off the deep end. I don't like how it's just a thing that they never really bring up again. It's just there, if you know what I mean. The first cycle? No, it's awesome because you you leave no, 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 behind no, 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 the, the normality the, of it all. The part where you fall into Termina and you have those weird tunnels, like before oh. you get into the the wind the windmill or whatever it is. Yeah. You can glitch back in there. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, I, I feel like it was just... If they, like, referenced it at the end of the game or something and brought it back... Well, they, I, the I guess they did. That's where the Deku Butler sounded in. He's that tree in there. Kind of... Yeah. But I, I guess I meant more, like, actual gameplay type stuff. Yeah, that's fair. Because it was... It just sort of existed, and then it didn't really have a purpose other than just that. Well, oh, it's a right. pure to tutorial the on the on the beak of flying, right? So they probably put that in there so you know how to handle the flowers. Oh, that's true. There is the whole side of things. I guess it's I kind know. of a little I feel training. Like the thing. opening, the opening to this game isn't very strong, is what I'm saying. Well, they drew like me in. Then. Really? Hmm. Well, be that's again, because it started out so normal and mundane, and then it just got weird. It was mm -hmm. so unexpectedly weird. I don't know. I think I think that's just. I guess everything was was putting me off. The whole like the happy mass sequence. Like I was really freaked out as a kid. <laughs> I kind of am still freaked out of today. They did that one really well. Um, yeah. So it got weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. There's uh, the, the organ appearing out of nowhere. I love that. I don't even know like. Because obvious, like the cutscene program had to like spawn an organ and then make it disappear again. So it was very intentional that like there was this organ that came out of nowhere, and I really liked that. And even to think about the details back then so much because yeah. I was uh, pre I was pretty young. I actually even yeah. I played Majora's Mask before Ocarina of Time. Mm. Oh really? Just, yeah, I think that's pretty rare. Uh, so mm. that kind of set the stage and expectations, and I never could get that much into Ocarina of Time afterwards because it's just so far more grounded. I guess maybe that's the way to look at it. I kind of liked the the just like the world of Ocarina of Time. I felt was even today. I feel it was like better design than Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is very storybooky in that you have you know your four segmented worlds and also a hub world. And I kind of like the more natural world approach of Ocarina of Time in comparison. Oh, but, yeah, but if you look at it, block. really, it's pretty uh, segmented anyway. Right. Like so you're going Mechalia through the is completely backwards. different. I mean, you have interconnections, but you do have that in Nature's Mask too. Mm -hmm. Like with the water. Uh, yeah, but I feel like it wasn't as well like done. Hmm. Which is fair. I mean, I, and I can respect more. I can respect both. Sure. I guess There's... it's something like the Dark Souls 1 versus Dark Souls 2 argument. It heard. is. It is. <laughs> and I was actually going to print that up. Let's not talk about Dark Souls <laughs> right now. <laughs> No, no, no. In any case, Look, I did want—I did want to show off that I did have light errors. I could have just shot that block, but if you do a hover, you right. can get on top of it. Mm -hmm. That's just to get the, the mirror shield. Uh, from what I can tell, the mirror shield is always in the mirror shield chest. I don't know why you specifically decided to do that. I think because you have to have it to get the elegy if you really want it. Yeah, but uh, this is this was created with speedrunners in mind. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And you don't need the mirror shield or the elegy. I don't. I don't think. Yeah. It's just because it's an equipment slot rather than anything else, and I'm not sure anything else. Well, adult wallet was randomized, so I don't know. Hmm. Is that on the equip screen? Uh, yeah. Well, in hmm. over here. Yeah. Somewhere. No, no. It's just it's just your rupee in the corner, I guess. Maybe it was. Strange because it's the only shield you have. I don't know. Everything else has at least two upgrades. Um, should I, you want me to get the elegy right now? You can. I don't think it's. I really mean, it's necessary. not really needed. Yeah, okay. I don't. Well, I, I'll show off it, a way in because there is a cool glitch to get in there that I didn't know about last time I did this. So I'll show that mm -hmm. off. But I won't actually. I'll just get in there oh. and then leave. Yeah. yeah, because you're never going to play it, right? It's no. not going to make anything and easier. The only thing we're going to see is the, is the funny cutscene when you get it. 
Yeah. Oop. So that didn't work. All right. But yeah, you see, I, I sort of... Yeah, I'm trying to... I'm basically doing, uh, doing a ledge clip. That's what it's called. I'm trying to mm -hmm. clip out of bounds. Yeah. Or, or clip like, into this ledge, and that should let me do a cool thing. That was cool enough that you're inside the ledge. Whee! Whoa, actually, what? Okay. Okay, so I'm out of bounds right now. Um, like if I Did you disable pretty... the minimap because uh, it, it could give a clue to what you're doing, right? Yeah, I, I should have bought that or something. <laughs> um, ah, you're right, you have to buy it, I forgot. But the thing is, Akana Castle is loaded in the same map as oh as the outside. So right now I'm actually in the inner part of the... Of the the Kana Castle, so oh, I just skipped pretty, all of it. Pretty cool. So now I could get the the LG if I wanted to right now, but I won't go. I'm not. I won't do mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Oops. Oh, I forgot. I forgot those doors. Man, they reused that door sequence in like Twilight Princess. <laughs> Did they? Yeah, in the Forest Temple, they had the doors, like the circle doors, rolling out of the way. Oh, I can't leave. Maybe they should have reused actually making a good game in Twilight Princess. Oh. Uh, it looks like I have to. I have to do this. Oh, that's too bad. Good thing you got the mirror shield then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 